welcome welcome back to another episode of uploaded unfiltered the podcast in which i your host kryptonite aka jermaine interviews another content creator in regards to their journey thus far we're going to talk about their ups their downs their triumphs their failures anything they will offer up i'm, I'm here to listen tonight i have a super special guest i know again i say this every time but i like my guests the people i talk to are pretty dope this one in particular, I have known for, I don't even know how long. I'm just going to say for a while, but I'm going to go ahead and, and read his bio and then I'm just going to do so. I don't want to give the, the, the secret out too quick, even though you probably saw the podcast name and you see his name. Anyways, <clears throat> the funny guy doing the funny thing in the funny video games. That's that's literally what, what his bio says. I'm going to go ahead and introduce my guest for the night. It is Basu, a.k.a. Basu versus a.k.a. Final Boss, a.k.a. Legs Luguini, a.k.a. Salt Sorcerer Supreme, a.k.a. Josuke Black, a.k.a. Pickle Too Big for the brand, a.k.a. All Pigs No Blanket, a.k.a. Two Left Shoes because the right one's up your ass, a.k.a. Wipe the blade but the blade's still dripping, a.k.a. I put my grapple hook in my suitcase, what the fuck TSA you gonna do, a.k.a. Big Black Beautiful, a.k.a. Wakanda's Pride, R.A.P. to the King, that's Boss. Boss, welcome to the goddamn podcast. Cast. I can't believe you made me do that. I, I, yo, thanks for having me on, my brother. <laughs> yo, as soon as you put that in the application, like, yo, uh, what, what is your name? I'm putting every single one of my AKs in this thing, but you was gliding through them, man. I'm proud of you. Hey, I've heard it a few times, so, you know, I, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, all the time. Man, how is, how's your night going, man? What's, what's been good with you? Bro, you know, I've been struggling with these kids, you know, as fathers, man, and I got them pretty young still. Mm -hmm. It's hard to get this two-year-old down for bed, but he kind of went down easy today. So, you know, my night's going good so far. I got here on time. <laughs> you know, I was just talking about the kids with my wife. You got a two-year-old and uh, is he five? Yeah, he's five. He's five. Man, that's, uh, yeah, I know those struggles. Mine are old enough that I don't have to worry about them getting them up in the middle of the night. That's still a uh, alert for you. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes a two-year-old just get up out of bed and be like, yo, boom, 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 knock on the door. Daddy! <laughs> it's a mess. It's a mess. <laughs> and I just got to drop everything. I'm in the streams over it. Yeah, I mean, I've been there. I've been there. Everybody had a rule. It's like, yo, if the stream just ends, everything's good. Just one of the kids got up. So, boss man, I know what you've been up to lately, but what have you been doing content wise in the last, let's say, couple months? Last couple months, my biggest project has been a joint project with a content creator by the name of Kohlberg9. He has an e-federation called Mouth the Main Academy Wrestling Federation. I've been being a fake wrestler, dog. That's been the most, that's been like a lot of my content wise. I've been making like cutting promo. I've been making like little gag videos, but that's where a lot of my creative energy is going to right now. And it's been a lot of fun. It's been creatively free, and man, I get to be a bad guy, and it's fun. I've been mad jealous, and I, I, I'm just gonna bring it up myself. I missed the application deadline because I don't have any good reasons. I just missed it. But watching y'all go through that league and coming up with concepts and theme songs and like gags, I'm like, this, this is fun. Like, this is what wrestling should be. This is amazing. Yeah, and what's cool about it is that, like, for me, who's like very on the edge of wrestling like i'll catch a lot of my wrestling highlights twitter or TikTok, and uh, i'm not really like current with the start like wrestling or anything like that i'm not even really actively trying to watch it mm -hmm. i really just care about my character in this fake wrestling league and uh it's kind of giving that feeling back that i used to have growing up watching it and i know like a lot of people got a certain way they think about wrestling about you know how fake and soap opera it is but that's exactly what we doing we doing mm -hmm. a soap opera dog it's the most fun i've had creatively in a long time it's been it's been dope seeing the, your brain go into places i didn't know exist to the point where i feel like the clown motif is has taken over everything i got clown shirts clown merch my son calls me the king clown like it's crazy bro hold on what yeah man my son my oldest son calls me the <laughs> he calls me the king clown because he sees all these clowns and he putting everything like it's everywhere it has invaded my life it's so funny because you know it started off as a joke and you know how yeah. you know how i get when people start curling their nose up or turning their face away or scrunching their face up mm -hmm. i'm double time i'm exactly. like yo I represent for it. That's the same thing that happened with them glizzies. The same thing that happened with that microwave is the same thing that happened with these dang on clowns. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Onwards and upwards. Uh, speaking of which, let's go ahead and jump into this first section. This is where we speak on our current mindset. Mr. Balsu versus what is your current mindset in regards to your content right now? 
That's a very interesting question because I think, you know, you and I, we talk a lot. You and I and uh, I, Chris Panda, we talk a lot, like literally every day. Mm -hmm. And where my content is right now is in a is in a state in which I am at a, a point in my content creation journey where I don't have to be the meme lord anymore. I don't have to like I could just be me, which is, you know, still kind of a meme, but it's like <laughs> I don't I don't have to like. I feel like I don't have to keep up with the trends anymore. It's right. Like, if that makes any sense. Like, no, 100%. I feel like I could stand on my own legs and make stuff funny and make entertaining content. And it's a matter of just like putting that in a format where people can ju digest it easier. Is mm -hmm. the, that is where I'm at. And I think that's everybody's goal when it comes to like growing their content or making it even more fruitful. For me, I want to stream less. That's been my that's been my number one goal. That's my long term goal, and kind of cultivate this YouTube thing. And a lot of the YouTube, you know, the evergreen, the reoccurring content, the stuff that people come back to. Mm -hmm. I, people underestimate how much thought goes into that, how much thought process to make it actually affect the video. And there's a lot of planning. There's a lot of little things that you have to do to make to make it work. You know, it's, it's something I think we all learn in this content creation. We all reach this point where we just want more. Right. Yeah. Definitely. I co-sign everything you said there i definitely have been looking at streaming as a a thing that's filling time right now and i could be using that time towards pushing that youtube content which i think i, I came up with something i know we all say you should make four or five clips out of your out of your stream and some of us do some of i mean some of y'all do i used to do that i don't do it anymore but there is a way to especially with i'm just gonna say this right now on the podcast it's not coming out for a while boulder gate is like ready for youtube content like if you can hold a story and, and be entertaining and, and tell some jokes on top of boulders gate i think that might do well so that's what i'm looking at right now is figuring out how i can piece together some little content stories from boulders gate in my own in my own words that i can throw up on youtube for some long long-term evergreen content I'm telling you right now, our campaign is going to be insane. I watched Chris do some solo content earlier today, mm -hmm. and yo, he has some he has some stuff he's cooking. He's he got some gimmicks that he's gonna do, and I like I can't wait for us three to get together. And just yeah. like it might take over a fight night for a week. I don't even know. Hey, I mean, if it has to happen, it has to happen. All right. So outside of streaming, are you looking to push content anywhere else, or what? Where are you looking for the future of Bossu versus? The future of it does reside on YouTube. I think that's my end game, end goal is to be on YouTube and create content and kind of cultivate that and flour make that flourish. But you got to be everywhere to kind of point people to that. And I mm -hmm. think you, you can't sleep on that. You can't like just do stuff like our example I'll use is one that we really, you know, <laughs> we it's, it really hits home for us because this is us, right? It's like yeah. we, we stream, 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 stream. But then like that's after we get up that stream, it's just gone, right? Mm -hmm. It's nothing for nobody. It's just like you got to find something to do with that. And like you were saying, you make four or five clips from each stream. I'm going to keep it funky with you. My streams be all over the place. And if you're not, my streams be, <laughs> my streams really do be an experience. Twitch.tv slash Bossy Versus. I know mm -hmm. that's later in the class, but. No, you got it. My streams really be all over the place. And I'll be hitting a bunch of different topics that maybe not fit in a certain niche or a certain genre. And when when I go to start making them clips, man, I'm like, man, <laughs> this ain't, ain't nothing in, ain't nothing in rhythm or in, like, this doesn't make sense out of context. So I'm just like, okay. So now that tells me that I need to start formulating plans to make stuff like really directed content. And I think right. I started, I started finding my way more recently. And it's just a matter of just like planning and executing that. So right now, to, that's a long winded way to answer your question is like YouTube, TikTok, and I'm cutting back on Twitch. I think, I think that's going to be best for me and my my situation and you know what I, what i have in, in store for the future i like it like because i think if twitch definitely takes a certain drive and a certain work ethic and i feel like you can do twitch and you can do youtube but if you're trying to push both of them at the same time i mean especially for us you got a job kids family like that's a lot of time that's eating away at what you what you look to be uh, like trying to accomplish doing both of those at the same time so i totally understand the move 
Right, and we know how Twitch work, right? Once you once you start going on Twitch to really grow on Twitch, you just can't stop Twitch. You exactly. got to Twitch every day, and you know, I, look, I was about that early, like three years ago. You talked about three years ago. I was like, yeah. man, I stream every day if I could. I sign online. I get on here. And I, <laughs> I go live for eight hours if I had the bandwidth. Not today. No, mm-mm, mm-mm. no, can't do it, dog. Can't do it. It's not. There's nothing I want to sit here and play for eight hours. Nah, nah. Every day, not at all. Anyways, <laughs> moving on to the next section. Uh, we are at the lessons learned section. This is where I ask my guests, what has a lesson you have learned that you could have only learned from creating content? I think this is a lesson that I've learned that I, I, I'm i still, I'm hard headed. So it's still something I'm trying to accept. And it's something that I think everybody can relate to, not just in content creation, but just in life in general, man. There's people around you that you can lean on and you should lean on them. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like you shouldn't be afraid to ask for help. Like I should, like you shouldn't be able, if you don't know how to do something or if you can't figure something out or if you want an opinion on something, you got to have people around you that will keep it funky with you, keep it real with you and be honest with you. If something bad is bad, if something's good, tell them it's good. Or if you just, if you literally just need a shoulder to lean on, I think you need to have those people around you. And that's something I'm learning. Like uh, I have those people in my circle within, you know, you, Chris, you know, Asha, and it's a lot of people that, you know, you kind of take for granted when you're doing this thing. Cause like, I think to couple that lesson with this lesson is that, you know, it's, it doesn't have to be like dog eat dog in this content creation space. There's room at the table for everybody. And I don't think you got to step on people to elevate yourself, contrary to popular belief. And so you look up a Ramsey recipe, cook it to the T and it tastes like ass, right? (laughs) So what good does it do for me to hide the seat, hide the recipe from you? If I know it ain't gonna taste like mine, let me show you. Let me show you how I do it, so you can put your spin on it, put your exactly. ancestry in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's the thing. Like you, maybe you, maybe you don't like sesame oil on yours, and you want to put something else in yours. Like like me, I like my shit a little bit nutty. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's, I think that's yeah. Like I said, those are two lessons that I learned. I gave you two for one. Yo, I that analogy, I've never heard that. That's the nutty part. I that just threw me off. But like, yes, I'm gonna give you the recipe, but everybody cooks different. And you can add your flavors, you can add your spice and make it your own. Like that, I'm that's that's the clip. I'm cutting this out and I'm putting it up on tick. That's it. Appreciate that. You know, I got them all. That's for free. I got them all day. I know, I know. Speaking of which, words of advice. It either you can rock with a new streamer or a new content creator that's just starting, they're like, yo, I want to do this. Where should I start? Or do you have any advice for me? Or somebody who's been doing it for a few years, it might be looking at it like, you know what? I might be done. I think I'm just going to quit. Who you want to talk to? You can talk to both. You can talk to either. And what do you want to tell them? I'm going to talk to both. For the person that's like just starting out or like hasn't started out, hey, man, <laughs> you're going to take some lumps. You're going to take some lumps, man. You're going to take some males. You're going to have good streams. You're going to have bad streams. You're going to have content that do well. You're going to have content that does not do well. And more often than not, your content stinks. <laughs> and you just gotta be able to, you gotta be able to bounce back from that. I think that's the biggest thing I think fighting games has taught me is like, yo, you're gonna be sorry a lot. You're gonna lose a lot, but them wins, them wins feel great. And when you get them wins, you wanna keep that feeling, you wanna recognize that feeling. So I think content is directly parallel to that. Like once you find something that you know that's working, hey, whole hog in that. Like find ways to make that fresh and new again every time. Because I think a lot of people want to do this a lot of, i think a lot of people go in here thinking they go go and, and be you know uh ninja or xqc or mm. you know kai snack like you're not you're not gonna be like that starting off and you need to be able to accept that right unless you just know people right unless you yeah. just like got lady gaga or you know doja cat in your pocket which right you know, <laughs> the latter <laughs> of that is wild but um <laughs> i think i think you just need to like be kind to yourself when you first starting off and be willing to be willing to be agile and versatile with your content. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think you should set yourself in your ways. Now that leads into the people that's been doing it for a while. Like for me, third year in, I'm always looking for a way to reinvent myself. Mm-hmm. I'm always looking for a way to kind of switch things up and you know keep things fresh for not only myself but the community. And you know you gotta you gotta accept that some people are gonna rock with that and some people are not. I, and you, you can't get too caught up on the people that don't mess with it. You gotta you know embrace the people that still rock with you like a lot of people are shifting over to youtube and a lot of people are leaving their fan base or their their viewer base over on twitch because people just refuse to go over there and you know the people that come over there even if it's just one or two you got to embrace that you got to accept that fam because those are the people that's going to boost your content into the stratosphere those are the people that are going to 
Tell people to watch your video. Those people are going to share your clips. Those are people mm-hmm. that are going to retweet your stuff. Don't take those people, those, those, you know, you sitting here and you look at your stream. I only got three viewers. Hey, <laughs> you better, you better, you better love on them, man. Exactly. Also for the veterans, man, listen to your body, listen to your body, listen to your mental. I think Crip is a, is a good uh, example of somebody that you need in your corner. Like if you're not feeling it, like if I'm not feeling it, I think me and him are in such a mind meld that like he kind of just know like, hey, boss, you good? Mm-hmm. And and I'd be like, hey, man, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, hey, I'm not feeling it. I'm not yeah. feeling it. And, you know, be it's okay. It's okay to step away, man. It's okay to just go ahead and live your life. Like you can turn this thing off. Like there's times that I booted up recently. Recently, I was like, yo, y'all lucky I even booted this motherfucker up. <laughs> yo, I'm about to unplug this shit for good. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but you like you just gotta recognize that you're gonna feel like that sometimes because this is a marathon. Like, don't let don't let it fool you. This ain't no sprint, this is a marathon, and shit is tiring, man. This shit it, it get to you and it's, it's a lot of work. You doing five to six different positions in one. And it's all for yourself. Mm-hmm. And that's why I call back to that. Lean on your lean on your peoples, man. Some of your people may be good at thumbnails, man. Exactly. Chris is excellent at thumbnails. Perfect. Lean on him. Like you really like when you I, I don't know shit about putting those stick together. I, I, <laughs> uh, I told myself as I built this PC, I'm never building a PC again. <laughs> but here you are with the gadgets every week. I definitely uh echo what you say about reaching out to people because i think it took me the longest time and even up until probably like a year or two ago to ask for help like i don't know what it is and maybe it's growing up or society i don't know but it was really hard for me to ask anybody for any type of help and i am slowly but surely getting over that shit. i'm like i because i love when people ask me for help because i'm like yes i can help you with this and i can help you get pushed forward i don't know why it took this long for me to be like i can ask for help and if i add somebody for help and they're not willing to help then that person's not in my corner and that's an easy way for me to excommunicate them out my life man get to get them get them suckers out of here yeah yeah i'm notorious for that probably to a to a fault but it's been working so i'm I'm, I'm gonna keep it moving Uh, hey not me boy hey (laughs) act funny get funny prizes i'm telling you (laughs) i'll change it for you real quick i've seen it it's it's pretty it's pretty amazing i do admire that about you though you're like nah (laughs) you want to play games we can play games i'm like oh shit bro it's it is it is it is a toxic trait because i don't be letting shit go like you come up like hey boss i ain't seen you in three months why is that <laughs> Why's that live on Twitch.tv? Yeah, Why, right. wait, talk to me. Yeah, put it in the chat. <laughs> Where you been? I texted you last night and you didn't text me back till now. Like, damn. Uh, uh, It'd be working though, because people would be like, you know what? You're right. This is mm-hmm. what happened, and I don't want to have an excuse, but thank you for calling me out. Right. That's crazy. Well, boss, we have made it to the uh final section of the podcast, the call to action. What do you want to direct the people at, boss? Yeah, uh just follow me on my socials. I'm boss versus everywhere. You can find me on TikTok, Twitter. Hey yo, my Twitter been kind of live. X. X. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me over on X. Um, <laughs> just tweeting about Baldur's Gate right now. I'm talking about how I'm trying to get freaky with green people. But um, nah, but I'm on TikTok, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, barely. But yeah, just follow me on my socials. That's all I got to say. You know, Twitch, I would say Twitch, TikTok, and YouTube are my main outlet. So mm-hmm. follow me there and you'll, you'll be able to see some shenanigans, probably some clowns. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I 100% co-sign. Boss is one of my favorite content creators. I was going to say streamers, but it's content across the board. This, I, I'm going to, I'm going to probably cut this part but the way we met is like hilarious to me even to the point where i looked at our first dm <laughs> and it was me like hey yo you want to jump in a discord call tonight which you know how i am i don't let nobody in a discord call and you was like all right bet and ever since then we've been rocking with each other bruh yo how we i always tell the story because and uh no matter what is going to podcast i think it's 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 important that like Crip was one of my very first supporters. Crip was the very first person to ever raid my channel. He's a, one of the first people to ever sub to my channel. I actually might be the first sub to my Damn, channel. That's crazy. And I, I remember I had found Crip through, you know, uh, he who should not be named. And, uh, <laughs> I, 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 and, you know, I was looking for people to play fighting games. I had been whooping on my peoples around me. They don't want to play games with me no more. I was like, yo, who, who can I get online with and play games with? I saw, Crip and uh, Akris Panda, 
uh, to a fight nights. And it's like, let me join this. I didn't know nothing about streamer etiquette. I didn't know nothing about stream. I had literally been a week in. Uh, actually, that might have been my second day streaming. Are you serious? Like, yeah. I'm like, hey, y'all, I'm going to go live while they live. And I'll be like, yo, <laughs> Ball Sue versus the name of the group at this time. Yeah. And, <laughs> and I was like, going, I was going crazy. I was over there streaming while they were streaming. Boy, I stream same like a mug. I had, like I said, I didn't know, I didn't know streamer etiquette. I actually, like, it's so crazy. The week before I started streaming, I was scoffing at the idea of streaming. And, and, and Are I'm you coming from the po- yeah? I come from the podcast world. That's crazy. I would have never guessed that. No, I didn't. Even thought, I thought like, who wants to see me play games? And then I just got on. And people want to see me play games. So I was like, mm-hmm. okay, cool. Um, <laughs> but yo, I was streaming as a streaming. I was in this chat like, aha, I got you, aha. Right. And then uh, I got caught. That's what got me. I got caught. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, hold on, who is this dude? <laughs> yeah. And then Crip invited me to the VC. And then, you know, it's been a it's been a friendship ever since, man. This dude, I consider this dude one of my brothers now, man. It's it's a beautiful thing. I mean, same. And honestly, like I remember when I went over there, I was like, who is this? Because I was still, I want to say fresh, but I was like starting to climb at that point. But I was still in that moment, that mode. I was like, I just want to see who everybody in my chat is talking. So I went and checked your profile out and I saw you streaming. I was like, this motherfucker, hold on. This dude's funny. I was like, all right, all right. <laughs> you should have you heard me when we did. Uh, I think I, my first time on the stream, my first time playing with y'all was Marvel, Marvel versus Capcom. Oh, Infinite. yeah. And yeah. I beat Chris yes. on the, on my first game. Yes. Yo, I was popping off. I was popping off because you know I don't even, even play them games. And Chris mm-hmm. was probably not even lubed up yet, boy. I, I was I'm in there, boy. I'm going crazy on you. Uh and that you know what's funny because every time y'all go back and forth, it's always a battle. It don't matter which game it is, y'all are going at it. I'm like, man, that shit was crazy. But like to know that that was your like first second, even if that was your first month stream, your shit was on point. And like I get you're just a funny dude. Like you can make anything entertaining. So like you had the spark and then your creative juices just get to going and now we're at Bossu land. Like this shit is crazy. Man, I'm still in the actually I'm still in actually Bossu land. That might be that might be a theme park one day. I might do like a like one of them Travis World type things, you know, Astro <laughs> World, man. Yeah, have a big old though. have a big old clown balloon place. Oh my god, it's gonna happen. See, you say shit and then it ended up happening. Even if it's we gonna be digital. have a place to do a uh, battle at the barbecue. This is true. We can get an inflatable head of you. That's easy. Yeah, Bossu Land just jumped in my mouth. Okay, all right. Yo, listen, everybody, uh, I forgot to do my call to action. <laughs> Uh, if you know any other creators out there who can benefit from conversations like this and others, please share the podcast with them. I am on Spotify. Google Podcasts, Apple Music, and a bunch of other things that do podcast things because I hit a button and it said, boom, disperse. So, you know, if you listen to podcasts, you probably check me out on one of those things. Boss, thank you for doing the podcast with me today. This is not the last time you're going to be on. I don't know if you knew that, but I know that. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. No problem. Anytime, man. You know, I do this. This is my, this podcasting was my baby for a while. So. Yeah, I, I was so it. speaking of which, uh, what's your thoughts on you spinning that thing up or spinning up another one? What's that look like? I think I'm a, I think I'm a reboot my current podcast. Um, okay. I'm on Spotify as uh, Final Boss versus the World. Uh, yeah. So my solo cast is there where I talk about a bunch of crazy stuff. Yes. Uh, but uh, I think I'm, I think I'm a re- reboot, rebrand it under the new uh, moniker and go a different direction with it maybe use it as like a content creation journal almost it was like Ooh. my the 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 journey throughout like the 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 content creation process and yeah probably have some people on like you do but like we not necessarily talk about the same things but just like kind of have them on and kind of pick their brain about some dumb stuff and then you know i gotta ask them the dumb shit yeah no i thoroughly look forward to this because i you talking to people it did be nice when we're fighting and i ain't saying shit i'm just listening to you entertain your chat i'm just like man i get to hang out with this motherfucker this is crazy <laughs> bruh <laughs> you know what i'm about to ask you some off the wall shit that's yes. why i want my podcast to be yes. like hey hey you ever hey you hey crib you ever like I, that's what i want <laughs> yeah. my podcast to be i just want my whole podcast to be just like that yes that would be great i would love that make it happen i can't wait i'll be your first i'm one on there. it i'm on it <laughs> all right we're gonna wrap this podcast again thank you for listening i hope you had fun once again protect your mental keep creating content and i will see y'all in the next one peace